Hi, I'm Chris of Chrissy's Over the Mountain Crochet and Crafts. Today we're going to make a shells variation washcloth dishcloth. Let's get to it. So let me go over the stitches again. Three and turn. Execute a double crochet right. Here. Then we execute a shell between. So to make the shells variation dishcloth washcloth, I used Mainstays 100% cotton. I'm using an F. 3.75 millimeter crochet hook by Susan Bates. So let's make a slip knot and chain 28. Three, four, five, 25, 26, 27, 28. Now we are going to execute two double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Insert the hook right there and execute two double crochets. One, two. Now we're going to skip two chains and shell in the next chain. A shell is five double crochets. One, two, and five double crochets in this third chain. We skipped two and it's five double crochets in this third chain. That's five, and that makes a nice little shell. Now the next sequence is one double crochet in the next chain two times, so one double crochet in the next chain and do that twice, but we skip two chains first. All right, so we're skipping this chain, this chain, and executing a double crochet right here, and then a double crochet right beside this other do double crochet. Now we skip two chains, one, two, and execute a shell. which is five double crochets. Now skip two, one, two, yarn over and execute a double crochet and another double crochet. Then skip two, one, two, and a shell. In the next chain, That's five. Now skip two, one, two, and execute a double crochet. And a double crochet in the next chain. So we'll skip two and execute three double crochets in this last chain. Sometimes this last chain can be a little fiddly but he's cooperating with me today. Now chain three and turn. This chain three will count as a double crochet at the beginning of this next row. So now we are going to double crochet in the space between the first and second double crochet of the first row. So we're going to double crochet right here. Now we are going to execute a shell in between these two double crochets. Four. And five. All right. Now how does that look? That looks nice, I think. So we have are two double crochets that mimic this two double crochet segment. And then we have our shell. Now next is easy. You have one, two, three. You place a double crochet in between the second and third 
double crochet of the shell, then a double crochet in between the third and fourth double crochet of the shell. And there we have the double two double crochets, a shell, and two double crochets. So you guessed it, next is a shell. All right, we've made that shell. Now you know what is next. In between these two double crochets will be a double crochet. In between these two double crochets will be a double crochet. This peak stitch or the third stitch will have a double crochet on either side of it. Then of course the next segment will be a shell right here in between these two double crochets. Then a double crochet on either side of the peak stitch. Let me get to this part. I'll go off camera and finish up this part and then I'll show you how to end out the row. I'm at the end of the row. Now I need to execute three double crochets right here between the double crochet and the turning chain. Let's get that done. Okay, there we have two rows of the dishcloth finished. Now we chain three and repeat row two. This chain three counts as a double crochet, and then we double crochet right here between the first and second double crochet of the previous round. Now we execute a shell. Now a double crochet on either side of the peak stitch of the shell. This peak stitch has a double crochet on either side of it. And next is the five double crochet shell between those double crochets. I'm sorry it is raining as I'm recording. I know you can hear those raindrops on my skylight. And that five double crochet shell is finished. This stitch sequence is beautiful. It makes a beautiful blanket. I've made a cotton baby blanket out of that. You will find the crochet pattern on my website. My friend, Stacy at Handmade by Stacy J. You can find her channel here on YouTube. I'll put the link down below. She cracked me up when she said a blanket is just a dishcloth on steroids. <laughs> and I have already made the blanket using this stitch, so I've gone backwards just a little bit. So let's execute a double crochet on either side of that peak stitch and a shell stitch. And you just keep repeating this sequence until you get the height that you want on this dishcloth. I recommend that you have 14 rows to make a nice dishcloth. And here we're at the end and it's three double crochets. So let me go over the stitches again. It's very easy. It's a one row repeat. So we chain three and turn. Execute a double crochet between those double crochets. Then we execute a shell between these two double crochets. Then a double crochet on either side of the peak stitch and a shell and a double crochet on either side of the peak stitch. This pattern needs a multiple of seven chains. So if you decide to make a blanket on steroids using a different type of yarn, that is the stitch, stitch sequence you need. Or if you would like to make this into a towel, so if you make a multiple of seven chains to the width that you would like for a towel, then make the towel the length that you would like. I think this would be a beautiful towel in the kitchen or in the bath. This heirloom shells baby blanket has this exact same shell variation along with a few others. The baby blue blanket is all about this shell stitch variation with a really wide shell border. You can see that stitch up 
in the upper part of that photo and then that wide shell border just beautiful and this dishcloth so easy and quick to make i'm so glad you came to visit me on my side of the mountain i hope you'll come again soon bye